my esteemed listeners and viewers this video has a tutorial on two three trees as an example of representational change version of transform and conquer algorithm design strategy also this video comes as a sequel to tutorial number two where avl trees and their development and avl tree development algorithm has been discussed in detail while avl trees are examples of instant simplification version of transform and conquer two three trees comes as example of representational change because two three trees will come with different kind of a texture different kind of a construction anyway it's a balanced search tree that allows more than one key in a node and any two three tree is already balanced and there is no question of a, a, a balancing act that is being implemented on a two three tree by nature they are balanced this is due to insertion of elements at the very leaf level itself okay and in comparison with avl trees two three trees doesn't require some of the manipulations of the tree while balancing like like rotation while and you may recall you may recall that while building a two three tree while building an avl tree we did four kinds of rotations right rotation left rotation right left rotation and left right rotation depending upon the situation and that is cumbersome that looked more cumbersome when you when you complete the discussion on two three tree it will be increasingly clear for all of us that construction and development of two three tree has its own advantages because it comes balanced okay. the idea is due to john hopcraft in 1970 the tree is always balanced as the insertion and deletion happens at the leaf level okay and a very important thing about two three trees the leaves of the tree are always at the same level are always at the same level and two three tree the name is so because a two three tree involves either a two node tree three node tree or combination of two node tree and three node tree in a two node in a two node uh, component of the tree there will be only one key at the root level the left children the left child will be having a key with a value lesser than the key value at the root level and the right child will have the key which is greater than the the root uh, the root key value while three node a three node in a two three node in a two three tree will have two keys at a node at the root level this is the salient difference between uh, the conventional binary tree and two three tree okay the binary tree anyway this is also a binary search tree one of the versions of binary search tree but it comes with a with a with a characteristic feature which is completely different from different from the conventional binary search tree and also avl tree therefore the avl tree or binary search tree is represented in a different way so that while constructing itself while insertion itself it will be balanced therefore this forms as an example of example of representational change the second version of transform and conquer so in a in a node in a root if there are two keys the left child the leftmost child will be will be having the key lesser than k1 and in the center in the leaf that emanates from the center will have the keys in the within the range of k1 and k2 which is exclusive of k1 and k2 okay this round brackets indicates k1 is excluded k2 is excluded but any key value between k1 and k2 can be included in the leaf which which is amidst k1 and k2 and there is a rightmost key a rightmost leaf we will have a key which is greater than k2 greater than k2 and this is the representation of a two node and three node the amalgamation of several two nodes 
and several three nodes builds up what is called as two three tree two three tree and the greatest advantage of two three tree is if there are one million keys let us say 10 lakh keys the searching deletion and insertion that is uh, uh, categorically called as dictionary operations will take a uh, log log of 1 million okay that is which happens to be 20 2 to the power of 20 is almost equal to 1 million okay just by 20 comparisons we will be able to search we will be able to delete and we will be able to insert any key given at random okay insertion happens at the leaf level let us say insertion is this is the procedure okay i will i will explain that with the help of an example let us say a key comes it will be inserted at the at the leaf level let us say this is 10 10 is inserted then one more key comes let us say this is 12 okay while inserting we have to search for the leaf at which 12 can be inserted okay here is 12 okay then comes let us say 11 so 11 is to be inserted between 10 and 12 so 11 is here 12 is here a 2 3 tree a node of a 2 2 3 tree cannot sustain three keys therefore the central key is to be lifted and should be given and it should be promoted as a parent okay this is this will receive some kind of a parental promotion when this happens 11 will come as a parental node and 10 will be to the left side and 12 will be to the right side okay this is the rightmost key therefore therefore building up of 2 3 tree has a top bottom up approach it has a bottom up approach bottom up approach searching is also rather very easy given a key we will first go to the node and we will compare if the if the key value is lesser than the node we will search for the left subtree like binary search tree and if the key value is more than the no key at the root then we will search the right subtree okay this is how it happens now we will develop a a two three tree for this particular list okay uh, you, you have to carefully follow me okay uh, 99 is inserted at the leaf level so 99 99 comes at the leaf level then comes 55 okay when 55 is introduced into the leaf okay it should be introduced in the ascending order so 55 should come to the left of 99 okay 99 55 is inserted then comes 83 then comes 83 okay it is 55 83 which comes in the midst and 99 99 will come over somewhere over, yeah somewhere over here okay now this cannot sustain three keys therefore 83 should be given some kind of a parental promotion okay it will go up the middle key will go up 83 is over here and then comes 55 to the left and 99 to the right 99 to the right yeah then then we need to introduce 32 okay so 83 is over here 83 is over here okay and 32 should come over here okay before 55 and this is the leaf where 32 is to be inserted 55 and here stays 99 unaltered unaltered now comes the next key which is 28 so 28 is to be insert, inserted in the first leaf itself leftmost leaf itself okay uh, taking care to introduce that in ascending order okay the arrangement should be in ascending order therefore 28 will be here first okay a comparison will be done between 32 and 55 and the and the location where 28 is to be placed is placed okay 32 and 55 okay 99 remains unaltered as the 
left sorry right leaf element so 19a is over here so 32 cannot be sustaining here it should be moved up okay so 32 will will be placed beside 83 in a proper arrangement that is in ascending order then here comes 28 okay in between comes 55 55 comes over here and here comes 99 here comes 99 then then 47 is to be introduced okay 47 will be introduced over here 47 is introduced over here then comes 70 70 is to be introduced over here okay when 70 is introduced this cannot sustain therefore 55 is to be given parental promotion okay so 3 32 32 55 and 83 32 55 and 83 will be here okay in the root node and 28 is over here 28 then comes 47 in between 32 and 55 47 then we will have 70 between 55 and 83 and then comes 99 okay here again the 55 this particular node cannot they cannot sustain three key values or three keys therefore 55 is to be given parental promotion so 55 will be occupying the root root and 32 will come to the left of 55 32 is over here and 83 will come over here as a right side 83 then to the left side of 32 we will have 28 as the key and to the right side of 32 we will have 47 as the key 47 as the key and here we will have 70 as the left child of 83 okay and 99 to the right child of so we got we got binary search tree which is balanced which is balanced our build up the, the building up of this 2 3 tree went this way therefore it has bottom up approach okay so it is very easy when compared to avl trees so development of a 2 3 tree is rather easy when compared to uh, to to avl trees because there are no overheads of rotation rotation then we will arrange the the alphabets of computing in the form of a 2 3 tree so that searching of a particular alphabet becomes very easy so uh, like the previous example okay i will start from c c is introduced at the leaf level then o is introduced c o o comes after c so c o is here then comes m okay it will be c m o c m o because m comes before o then m is uplifted okay so m will occupy okay uh, after this this is the transformation that happens transformation that happens m will come up and it will become a parent to c as well as o c as well as o then p is to be introduced p is introduced after o because p comes after o so c is over here c is over here and right and p is to be introduced okay after o so o and p they are in the order alphabetical order then comes u okay u is to be introduced here u is to be introduced over here then comes t okay before we introduce t this p is to be given parental promotion therefore root now will have two keys one is m m the other one is p m and p to the left of m we have a leaf containing leftmost leaf containing c and between m and p 
we will have one more leaf that is emanating which will have which will have uh, which will have O and the right most leaf will have will have U will have U then comes T T is to be introduced so T will be have to be introduced here only before U and this is the leaf where T should find its place then comes then comes N N okay I will do a different thing over here MP in order to avoid confusion okay C is here it is unaltered it is, it is unaltered and N should come over here before O L M N O and this comes T U T U remains as it is T U remains as it is okay T U remains as it is next comes I okay I is to be introduced just after C M P C I C I N O will remain as it is N O will remain as it is T U will be as it is no changes okay and they are in order they are in order they are in order. so this is how the tree is built and you can notice at every stage of insertion the balance is not last the balance is not last now now uh, what we need to introduce is what we need to introduce is G okay G is to be introduced here yeah. M M P M P okay C C G I C G I okay then N O is over here only without any change without any change and as far as P is concerned it will have its leftmost sorry rightmost leaf with two keys T and U now G is to be given parental promotion it will it will be between M and P M G P M G P okay C is over here and I will also be here between M and G between M and G uh, between G and M okay oh sorry here it should be sorry okay, there should be a change over here okay uh, I did not notice that anyway okay yeah it is not in order okay G should occupy first okay as you must have guessed G should be occupied over here and M is here okay well, before C J before G C comes therefore it it forms the leftmost child leftmost child between G and M comes I between G M M M there is a key okay uh, which is an alphabet I and between M and P we have N and O N comma O which is in order and after okay the rightmost leaf will contain T and U now M is to be lifted up it will go as a it will form into a root node and C will be to its left C will be to its left P will be to its right P will be to its right and and G will be over here okay G will be over here sorry G will be over here and C will come over here I will be over here to the right right of G okay as far as P is concerned we will have leaf one leaf with N and O other leaf with T and U T and U okay now it is arranged this is how two three trees formed and it has a it has the greatest speed even if 10 mil uh, even if 1 million keys are there it will just take 20 comparisons so with this we will end up and in the next video 
uh, next uh, tutorial comes with heap sort explained until then 